Hello again all you lovely people, it's Steve Runs here once again, the channel creator for like-minded people looking to become fitter and healthier people. If that sounds like you, hit the red subscribe button below here, and let's go on our running journeys together. So it's Saturday night, um, back in the day I'd be out on the town or doing whatever, I'm all grown up now and doing different things, and what am I doing on this Saturday night? I'm preparing for tomorrow's long run. Um, this is going to be my first week of attempting to get 45 miles in, the most miles I've ever done but doing it in the right way. I've got lots to talk about and I'm quickly show you my preparation for my long run and my marathon tomorrow. So don't go anywhere, let's talk about that. Okay, so thank you for joining me once again, everyone. As I just said, this is my Saturday night. I'm just preparing for tomorrow's long run. I'm gonna try and do 15 miles, maybe a bit more. I'm gonna see how I'm feeling. But the idea for tomorrow is getting the last of the long runs in before my taper uh, weeks, uh, before my first ever marathon in MK, uh, Milton Keynes, um, in four weeks time, or four weeks on Monday. So um, I'm gonna quickly just show you what I'm doing tonight to prepare, um, what I'm putting in my bag, because I've got lots of work to do. I'm trying out some nutrition, some new things I wanna do, how much water I wanna take and whatnot. And um, yeah, I'm gonna quickly discuss that with you now. So let's have a look. Okay, so for my preparation, I've just loaded up my my Camelback bag. Um, just filled the bladder, filled the bladder up with about a liter of water plus some of this uh, nice berry flavored electrolytes. Okay, I've got two tablets in there and about a liter, just over a liter of water. So keep my salt intake going. Um, my mate, my mate Chris learned a hard lesson um, last week on the on the 20 mile that we done he was laid on the side with cramp I'm not doing this to embarrass him but it's just to um to show that it's much needed to replace the salts that you lose after that race we all had really sort of gritty faces we lost a lot of salt if you don't take care of that you're going to go down with injuries and cramp and whatnot all right i've been working on nutrition lately what you need is about between 60 and 90 grams of carbohydrates so i've worked out i am caffeine free so this is a banana um, high fives I use, there's no caffeine in these. They taste nice, I like banana. And they have 23 grams of carbs, if you can see in the middle there, per sachet. So, uh, per hour, you want 60 grams. So I'm gonna take one, two of these, and I'm now trying some nice Kendall mint cake that I spoke about in my other videos, okay? I bought a tub of these for about 10 quid, and they're already broken up into nice sizable chunks. And these are about 15 to 20 grams per chunk. So two shots of that is 46 grams plus 15, 56, 61. So that'd be about 60 grams of carbs I can take per hour. So if I take one, two, three, four with me, plus um, about three or four of these as well in my pockets or in, in the zips of this bag, then I'm hoping that that's going to be able to do enough nutrition to get me around a couple of hours of running. Okay, so that's that. I've got my clothes all set up um, next to my bed upstairs. Um, I'm gonna wear my Nike Air Zoom Tempos tomorrow, the best shoes I've got just for the moment. I've got a new pair en route coming Tuesday, which I will show you. I might do a box opening or maybe try and do my first proper shoe review, but we'll see about that. But the Tempos are the best I've got for the moment. So almost as ready, my lamb is set. I'll be getting up at 5.30 to hopefully leave for six after a good stretch. And I've got 15 miles planned and we'll see what happens. So. Um, Go and get a good night's sleep, it's half 10. I'm gonna go get my head down and we'll see how tomorrow goes, all right? Don't you go anywhere. That is classic England, isn't it? Gotta love that humour. Okay, the morning has come. What a beautiful morning for it. Just getting light, about half six. 50 miles planned. This is perfect, it must be minus three, I think, minus two. The floor's solid, but no wind, nothing. It's just perfect. Right, we're two and a half miles in to my 15 mile run. The plan today is just to get the miles in. Um, as I said earlier, this will be my first week of doing 45 miles. Um, the biggest week I've ever done. Most I've ever done is 37. Um, my heart rate's nice and steady today. Uh, I get out of breath as soon as I talk. I'm keeping it below 150. My map is 150, so try to make it a math run. If I sneak over a few times, my zone two is up to 153, so never really bothers me sneaking over, but 
as you know, I like to keep it at map if I can. So around 150 yards, we're laughing. Um, so in my little pack here, I've got my nutrition I spoke about a minute ago. Um, the kettle mint cake and the banana shots. Um, I've got a alarm on my watch to go off every 20 minutes. So about 30 seconds time of my first instalment of having some a bit of nutrition for this run. This whole idea is trying to um, see what my stomach can handle on this run. I know the banana shots are alright. Gotta make sure the kettle cake is good as well. Give me lots of energy. See how I feel after 15 miles or so. I know I'll be all good for the marathon then. There's my alarm now. Eat. Right, back in a moment. It's lovely downhill. Unfortunately, what goes down must come up. Uh, there it is. All right, so 40 minutes in. A second call for food and drink. Okay, no mint cake. See if it's a bit more manageable than usual sweets. No one. With very little chewing, it just dissolves in your mouth. Yes. That is the one I'm sure it is. You can almost feel the, uh, the carbohydrates and the glucose get into your system. Like liquid. I love that. That gets me around today. My legs feel fine after 15 miles. I think I found myself a winner. Let's see how it goes though. Right now. Nice village. Summit. There's not a better hobby in the bloody world than just running around doing this. Do what's best for your body. Live yourself a nice long life. Most relaxing thing in the world. I set my alarm this morning. No hangover. Just excited to go running. As sad as that might make me look. If you're watching this, then you're one of them. You're in it. And it's so worth it. Keep going, guys. Keep going. Blessing done. That's us. Okay, the only downfall so far regarding the Kendall Mint Cake is how minty it is. On cold mornings like this, when it's minus three, minus two, you feel that on your chest. And when you drink your water or your um, isotonic drink, you know what it's like when you have something minty and then have a glass of water or tea or something. It's like, oh, that's a weird sensation, but that ain't gonna scare me off. That's the, so far, the perfect food. What I mean? Easy digestible. Uh, a bit of advice as well. Like I said, 60 grams to 90 grams of carbs per hour. So I'll set my line for every 20 minutes and you bosh it down with some water as well to get it straight into your system nice and easy. Get it flowing around. Easy. Nice down here that my heart's gonna appreciate. The first half, first six miles was very much uphill. Got some nice down here to take advantage. Um, current pace is like 808 per mile which I'm happy with over six miles but time's not concerning today it's more about getting intensity right see how my body feels after the food and drink and making sure I'm fully prepared for this marathon in just four weeks time oh if only this would show up uphill this is I'll go so slow my heart's on like 158 the camera didn't do it justice but the hill I ran down, come straight back up, like hills tend to do. Um, I'll tell you what, all I can do is hope that marathon day is going to be like this weather-wise, because this is absolutely perfect. It's probably about zero now. Um, 
it's sunny, sun is trying to break through. The floor's frosty, there's no wind. This is absolutely perfect running weather. But this is England. We've got here 25 degrees tomorrow and snowing the next day, it happens. We had four seasons in one last week, in one day. Unbelievable. Right, it's my cue to eat again, so don't go anywhere, still going strong. 7.5 miles in, so halfway through my Sunday long run. Don't go anywhere. Oh, there's not a car in sight today. Beautiful, get out of town a little bit. It's absolutely stunning. Obviously flat, look. All right, okay, maybe not the most flattering. The flattering time to, uh, time to do a spin, but it's just beautiful, there's no cars around. You have a free run, middle of the road, being safe. And uh, what a beautiful start today. I mean, where you live might look like this all the time. You know, you might live in a village. I live in Bista. It's the fastest growing town in the country, pretty much. You probably heard of Bista Village Shopping Centre. Don't come there. The traffic's bad enough without adding people to it. But um, get, get yourself out of town. Find yourself a nice long route away from everything. A little bit of grass if you can, which I haven't today, but um, I'm training for the marathon, which is going to be all road pretty much. So that's the idea behind it today. I've just noticed something else. Um, having a drink with every bit of food. Maybe I weren't drinking enough before, but ooh, maybe need a little wee wee. <laughs> wee wee. Not good. Um, I ain't going to stop. I'll try and make it home. I've probably got another, I don't know, 50 minutes maybe. So I suppose I've got to train myself to be able to hold them in, even hydrate them properly. Um, we'll see, like I said, it is a test run today to see what my stomach can handle. So far, the food and the drink is good. So, see if I can finish off one litre of water, electrolytes, and all the nutrition I brought with me. So, let's see it out, come on. Okay, so, all going good. To, uh, nearly 11 miles in, right? My legs are feeling fresh, lungs feeling fresh and out of breath. Okay, my heart rate's gone up to 151, bro. So, slightly over my math, but it's deep into zone two. So that's good. I'm doing 80 20 training as such. So, zone two is the aim, really. I'd like to try and set the math where I can. When it's hilly like today, or windy, or whatever, I'll do push it a little bit and just. If I sneak over, I sneak over, it's not a big fuss because zone two is the section I need to stay into anyway. Um, speaking of 80-20, not been easy to do that this week. Um, like I said, it's been my first week of doing 45 miles. I didn't think it was a good idea to do too many sort of hard efforts in there as well. Just want to make sure I could do the mileage and still be fresh at the end of it. So I don't want to push my luck. Um, I did one or two little hard bits of running, but nothing that's going to push me over the top. I'll be lucky if it's sort of 5% of it. I have not done the calculations yet of time and stuff. But that's that. So playing it safe, making sure that I'm going to go into the marathon in full fresh legs. Uh, speaking of which again, something strange has been happening with this new um, running routine because my legs have felt stronger or better this week than I have since the whole time I started running. That might be a coincidence. It might be because I had a bit of a down week last week. But from looking online, it seems like doing shorter runs more often seems to do the job on keeping your legs recovered. So what I'm doing, I'm running to work, 2.5 miles, I'm running back. 2.5 miles some of the days i'm extending the run to work to make it five miles and i'm running on my days off as normal so instead of running four days a week like i were i'm now running six days a week with saturday as my rest so i've added 10 miles on this week um without really feeling it it's been supposedly you run in the morning get your legs warmed up work and when you run home 
it kind of can counteracts with the the doms as they say or uh, delayed onset of muscle soreness and what happens is you get the blood flowing through your legs again and that seems to make that disappear such a strange thing that seems to be working so I'm out of breath I'm running up a bridge <laughs> another bridge about four bridges today so yeah that's what I'm just letting you know that if you get the opportunity to instead of running four times a week and doing seven or eight miles try running six times a week and doing three miles um, one part of the day three miles the next not only is it squeezed into my routine because I'm running to work and from work I'm saving fuel money as, feet, as you see the diesel prices are through the roof like my heart rate is right now so what a good time to if you've got the opportunity to run to work or whatever what a time to do that and build your mileage safely it does feel like the next day you're ready to go like you've done nothing the day before because you've done two short runs it's such a weird thing but if it works it works if it enables me to do 45 miles a week then that can only be a good thing but what i need to do is just monitor my monitor my heart rate and things to make sure that i'm not overdoing it i don't feel like i am my heart rate has stayed consistent resting heart rate has been consistent every morning so far and that's a telltale sign that you're overdoing it but nothing so far so all i'll do is make sure that's not creeping in and we're laughing i'll do it again next week i'm starting again in the morning it's monday two and a half miles to work two and a half miles back so on so forth let's see how that takes us to up to the uh up to the like tapering for the marathon okay has a half marathon done um 1 48 23 seconds happy with that been on zone two nice and easy um it's beat all my first times i've ever done half marathons as well so happy with that only got like a a mile and 1.8 miles to go for my long run so half marathon 148 23 happy days all righty back into my little state here 14.70 miles looks like we made it all good my body feels all right legs feel slightly tired but all in all i feel like i'm a good nick for this marathon but i've never been past 20 miles before so only time will tell when we get there okay we made it oh, love the job what a run absolutely beautiful made it back legs feel okay a little bit tired but still plenty more in the tank um <clears throat> Okay, we're all done. I'm back home now, 15 miles done. Nice and easy, all, all zone two. Um, obviously it's neat to over it a few times, but um, the general zone two run. Luke's having a sneaky peek. Hello, Lola Lou. <laughs> yeah. So let's quickly have a look at time. So productive workout, you can see that. Productive workout, 15.02. Uh, that's quite a bad shot, isn't it? 15.02. Um, all aerobic, which is always a good sign. Um, VO2 max has dropped down one, that's because of the distance. Two days recovery. Yeah, so happy days. So the main thing there is that the nutrition was good. The um, my, my stomach is settled. Um, I've only used about a quarter of the bag of the hydration pack. So um, I've got a good feeling that's going to that's going to do me well for the whole marathon without having to. Um, I meant to refill or anything like that, so that's good. And it wasn't over heavy either, so that's one liter is gonna probably do it with probably using some of their water stops as well. Um yeah, the Kendall Mint cake dissolved in my mouth just how I hoped, and my legs my legs felt good, they're a little bit tired, but just normal. And I've got a good feeling that I'm in a good good position now for this marathon as long as I take it easy until then now. But I'm gonna keep doing the 45 miles now for another couple of weeks. Start my tapering and then um, on we go and we'll see what we can pull out of that so anyway thanks for joining me um, have a look at my Strava and that as well to see, to see the run today and see the splits and all that stuff if you like um, I've also got like an Instagram and a Twitter and stuff like that just search up Steve Runs and I really appreciate you all following along as normal and hit the subscribe button below if you haven't already and let's go on our running journeys together and I'll see you on the next one Steve Runs